Hey guys, Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. I'm back on this Sunday evening because it's time to wax this girl. So if you've been following along, um, you may have wondered how in the world we're going to get to this place, um, but we are getting here. I promised you we would get here and we're getting there. Um, so DIY paint, which is the product I use, it is a clay based paint. Okay. So with it being clay based, um, I can just add, simply add a little bit of water and it reactivates the paint, helps it to start blending. Um, and I can kind of basically create a coat after coat after coat. Um, and okay, it looks like finally Facebook decided to come and play. Hey guys, late to the party, but I'm glad that you're here. Thank you. We were having troubles there with a Facebook connection. Um, if you may have been following along, so we're on like day seven of this piece. But we're also on day 28. Um, my computer's over here. Um, you did, I started without you, babe. We were actually gonna ask, I actually asked Matt to come on here, not with me, but actually and read your questions. So when I have my back to you, I can still know what you're asking. So, um, it's right over here. Yeah, just pop onto Facebook. And just see if anybody has any questions. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you can be on there. <laughs> Matt. So he's going to read the questions. So, um, all right, you guys, like I was saying, DIY paint, you're able to really layer it. Layer upon layer upon layer. I'm not sure if the lighting is that great, but I want to show you, actually, this entire side from here over has a coat of clear wax. This coat, this side does not, except for right here. I got antsy. And um, sure are noisy. Um, I got antsy. So I put a little clear wax here, but I went ahead and put clear wax over this entire side, all the way up to the top and all the way to the bottom. So now I'm going to actually start using white. Um, but I used DIYs Clear and I used um, the wax brush. This one's actually D Debbie's Design Diary. This is a DIY paint one. But I'm gonna grab white now. So I thought I would hang out with you guys and add the white. Now we're not even gonna touch this side just yet. Um, but I'm gonna start adding the white. And the reason I did clear first was because it's gonna give me a little bit more control. So if I get too much white on, I can kind of rub it back and it actually works kind of as an eraser. Where am I going? To Facebook. I'm Facebook. Huh? Yeah, I'm to the turquoise iris. That's my business page, honey. This is it, right? So I'm live, turn down the volume, scroll down and find live. So I'm actually going to use this JRV, one of her, um, what does she call these brushes, you guys? Sorry, Jamie, what do you call these? These are your brushes from the Paint Pixie collection. I'm actually going to get my white wax now. I'm only going to use a little bit because I want to work on my hardware first. Um, I absolutely love the fact that I can see purple, green, um, Cobalt blue, I see the uh, periwinkle, I see lots of copper here. Um, I see cowgirl coral, I see the fuchsia, and I see the cherry picked. Um, and then right here I have a huge amount of that yellow that we added for Queen Bee. So seeing all of the colors, ah, I love it all. So like I said, this little brush, what are these called? From, from JRV, the Jamie Ray Vintage brushes? Uh, what is those things that she has? Stenciling brushes. Terrible when the camera's on you. Okay, so I'm going to actually use a little bit of white wax. I've got my rag handy, and I'm going to actually press it down. Stencil brush. Thank you. I'm going to actually press it down into the hardware. The white wax over the copper is a very, very pretty look. If you haven't tried it, I recommend it highly. All right, and then I'm just going to rub it back right away. So the white just kind of gets down in those little grooves. Now I haven't, what I haven't decided is if I'm going to put white over the entire thing or if I'm just going to leave clear in some areas and white. Um, it's just, I'm probably going to work in little sections at a time. I'll be honest with you. Um, this was one of those days, you guys, where I didn't want bangs touching my face. So I put this on this morning, and I actually went out in public like this. True story. Um, but I just couldn't have any bangs touching my face. 
So it's no bang day. No bang, no bang. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so if you have any questions and you're on Facebook, Matt's over here. He's gonna read the questions to me to help me out a little bit because I'm streaming on all three platforms and I understand that sometimes I miss a bunch of stuff. Okay, so again, the white over the copper. Rub it back, it is a very, very striking look. If you haven't tried it, do it. And I'm working in little sections because the white can be very intimidating. But I promise I'll get a close-up photo of this when I'm finished. And if you if you haven't noticed, I've been posting the close-up photos in the comments on Facebook and um, in the community tab on YouTube and in the stories on Instagram. So like I said, I'm just using this little stencil brush from Jamie Ray Vintage and I'm getting it all in there around the edges. I've covered the whole piece from here to here in clear wax. It serves as a really good base. So if I get too much white wax, I can rub it back and gives me good, better control. Now I don't always do that, but I'll tell you with this piece, I really like the intensity of the color and I didn't really want to mute it and soften it with pastel. Um, but I also wanted to have a little bit of white in a few areas. So I can still see all of those colors that are in this piece of um, hardware, but it's all just a little bit softer. So if you decide that you don't like that and you actually do, you can tell the big difference. So you can tell the big difference. If you'd rather have the copper, you can actually apply clear wax back over the white, rub it back and it will act as an eraser and it will come back off. Any questions, Matthew? No questions. No questions yet. All right. Is anybody here watching with me? You have three people on. Three people. He said I have three. Well, there's 50 on YouTube. Yeah, there is 50 on YouTube. They're, they don't have any questions. Oh, okay. wait. Oh, no, wait. There is one. Uh, okay. Diane Carlson okay. from YouTube. How did you make the copper? So I took Golden Ticket. It's a product from DIY. Pour it into a separate container and then I put just a little marquee red, which is our blue red, not our orange red, but it's actually our blue red. Put a little of that in with Golden Ticket and um, makes just the most beautiful copper. We are coming out with a copper like any day, um, but we don't have it out yet. So, um, all right, so I'm not going to touch this side. This is still dry. This is has no wax whatsoever, but this has clear over the whole piece. So I'm going to show you the difference, what it's going to look like. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm using this very small brush because I want total control over it and I want to do it just a little bit at a time. Um, okay. Any questions, Matt? No, but Diane said thank you. Diane said thank you. Okay. Are you watching Facebook and YouTube? Yeah. Man. We've got, we've got. Look at uh, you, yeah, honey. Yeah, we've got, we've got, we're up to six now on Using Facebook. your noggin, I love it. We're up to six now. Let's get, let's keep six it going. Six are on Facebook now. We've got six, six on Facebook. Well, I can't see the comments, so I hope you guys are all. So, if you were wondering how in the world we were going to get to this point, I promised you we were going to get to a point where it wasn't like fun house looking. I promised, but you all have right. to layer the colors. Linda, I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Linda? Linda Walkana? 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 Okay. All right. Uh, she asked on Facebook, how well, how do you make bronze or brass? With bronze, you're going to take half of Golden Ticket, which is a product from DIY. You're going to take 50 of that, like 50-50 to dark and decrepit. It's the most beautiful bronze you've ever seen. So Golden Ticket, dark and decrepit. They're both top coats. They're both some of our finishers, half and half. Okay, you see the difference, guys? See how it's becoming a little bit softer? I'm gonna take my rag and I'm gonna rub some of that back. Uh, it creates we have, just we the have most one wonderful on, uh, texture. Uh, on, on the YouTubes. On the YouTubes. This is Fiona D. Bears. Fiona. What ratio of paint to wax do you use for colored wax? Uh, great question. Terrible answer is that I don't ever measure. It's 
a terrible answer, but it's the truth. Um, I don't have a ratio. I'm sorry. I just eyeball it. That's a terrible answer, honey. That's well, the truth, Fiona. I'm really, really sorry. Okay. So Damon Oates just sent me a private message. He said he doesn't know what you're watching, but there's more than six people. I just, I show, I show eight He's now. He's messing with me. I show now eight. he says there's eight. Uh, He's Becca messing Byers, with me, Damon. I had a feeling he was. Are you applying the white wax over clear? Yes, I am. That way I have more control over it because I was saying that earlier. I love the color of this piece right now. But some of it, I want it to be, so, like, some of it, I just love white wax right now that I feel like if I just put clear over it, it would be like, meh. But if I can put white in some areas, it might be like, hey. And that's actually what I'm going for. So I just saw 143. Big fat liar. It's a joke. He said, it's a joke. Okay, on YouTube, Fraser Barrick. Have they you... don't know you. They don't know your sense of humor. Have you tried making silver with new gray from Jamie? Silver with new gray. I did. I did try this. Doesn't work. I took the old barn gray and I mixed it with the golden ticket and it does not turn into a silver. Actually, I'll show you what it looks like. Look, this is exactly what I did right here. Can y'all see that? See how this is the beautiful bronze right here? Right here. This is bronze. This is half golden ticket and half dark and decrepit. This one just looks like a gray. The gray totally overpowered the um, the golden ticket and there's no shimmer to it. I mean, you could kind of see it now, but no, it didn't work well. So I'm still working on that one. All right. So I want to pull this white up just a little bit up in here where this blue is. Can everybody see up here? Nope, they can't. Oh, no. Here, I was thinking I was being so professional. Having my assistant help. I'm not like Damon. He does, he, he, he's way more prepared. Jamie Dennison, have you ever used any other product? Um, what do you mean as far as, um, other than DIY products? Is that what you mean? Uh, if, if so, then yes, until I found DIY. After I found DIY, I didn't find any use for any other product. Okay. Look at all the colors. Yes, that's what she meant. Okay, I used to. I used to use multiple products, but now I pretty much strictly stick to DIY because it does everything that I need it to do for my type of painting, the way that I paint. And I enjoy some the... Uh on the YouTubes. Uh-huh. She just wants to see the top of the piece. She says, you know, she knows you're not doing it right now, but she just, she has to see it. I will show it to you um, before we get off of here. I just have to lean it back because I can't even reach, the, I cannot even reach anywhere near the top, but yes, I will show it. When I work on it, I have to get a step stool. I'm lying. I get a chair. I should get a step stool, but I stand on a chair. Right, honey? Yes. Yeah. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. All right. So, uh, Athena Parrish the on the Facebooks. Yep. Said, did I miss it? What or did you do any wet distressing? Question? Yeah, I did that yesterday. I did do that yesterday. I started the live where I was wet distressing. I used the, a rag. I also used some baby wipes. And then I finished the piece off of camera because it takes a long, long time. So it spent me, it took me like an, another hour to do the wet dress, distressing around the piece, um, which is why we are adding a little bit of wax today. This is a piece I'm calling Marie Antoinette. I did post the pictures today on Facebook. Um, the inspiration because of Marie Antoinette's bedroom that we were able to tour when we were in Versailles in Oct uh, 1st of October. Okay, do you guys see how beautiful that is? Like, I just, I don't want it covering the whole piece, but I absolutely love the way the white wax looks over the blue. And I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. And the reason I'm using the JRV small brushes is because I want to have total control over it. 
Uh, Sarah Kent on the Facebooks. Mm -hmm. How long have you been painting and do you have an art degree? I do not have an art degree. I've been painting professionally since 2010. So we're going, we're about to hit 10 years. I do not have any kind of degree at all. No degree, no art degree. I've never taken an art course of any kind. You have a degree in, in momhood. I have a degree in momhood, said Matt. <laughs> so I went to school for a couple of years and couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. I actually thought I'd be a teacher, um, but I went into retail and worked full time, went into management and just basically worked part-time while the boys were little so I could be at home with them and um, as much as possible. And then Etsy came along and I thought, I can have an Etsy store and it went from there. Uh, uh, Celia Martinez on the Facebooks said, hello, can you paint over waxed finish? Um, you can. I actually did that in, in my group uh, my Creative Connection, a painting group, actually did that on, a, on the, the watercolor dresser that I've just posted a couple weeks ago. I actually started with white wax. And once again, DIY wax proves to be amazing because I promise you the finish stuck and it looks amazing. It's the watercolor dresser if you want to look at it um, on all my social media platforms. Um, I did it probably two weeks ago and finished it. It's that piece I started with white wax. Now traditionally, I'm really supposed to tell you that wax goes last and never to paint over it because it's supposed to breathe. But being an artist, I like to try new things. You like to break the rules. I like to break the art rules. Otherwise, I don't break any rules. I'm not a rule breaker at any any other aspect of my life. For reals. Speeding. Speeding? I do not speed. I do not speed. You guys make fun of me because I go so slow. Okay, can y'all see on this side? Facebook's like a little bit higher if possible. Okay, well, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come right here to this section. Everybody can see this section right here? Yes. Getting a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of hearts. A lot of hearts? A lot of hearts on the Facebooks and on the, on the, on the YouTubes. Well, do we have more than eight now watching? Uh, you're up to 12, baby. You're doing up really to good. 12 yeah, on Facebook. Thank you. Um, Jeannie Dennison. Okay. Do you have do you have to have a brick and mortar store to become a DIY DIY retailer? You do not have to own a brick and mortar store. You do have to actually sell the paint in a brick and mortar or all you need is a booth, a wall of some sort where the store is actually open at least four days a week. Um, but it doesn't have to be your own store. Um, we offer territories to protect you from your best friend. I don't mean your best friend, your neighbor selling the paint right next to you. So we give you territories to protect you. Um, so it just has to be open four days a week. So it doesn't have to be a store that's open seven days a week or somebody just needs to be open four days. Um, but I can answer any more of those questions for you too. So I love the way this is highlighting the trim. And I'm just kind of rubbing it back. I can see green, blue, fuchsia, and yellow all right here in this little section. Could I sell DIY from my veterinary hospital in Vancouver, British Columbia? Your hospital? Jane Potter? Or veterinary? It's veterinary. I don't know that. Actually, Karen Berg is the retail coordinator and she's basically in charge of all of that. So um, if you go there and submit your application, Karen Berg would be the one that would do the reviewing of that. That was, that was Jane Potter. Jane Potter. Okay, I know Jane. She's in my group. Um, uh, Sarah Kent on the Facebooks. Yep. Uh, how do you decide that you're, that you're finished with the piece? FYI, uh, yeah. she sees 130 people on the Facebooks. I don't know what they're seeing. I can't see 130. They, she said she sees 130. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm. um, how do I decide when I'm finished? That's a fantastic question. 
Uh, Jane Potter, go where to submit the application? Um, hang on. So I decide basically when I fall in love with it. When I just, I don't know. I just have to know. Um, oh, honey, these questions are coming rapid I feel fire. Like the rapid fire, honey. We got to go. No, go. I'm going to answer her question. Shh. So I feel like I just have to look at it and just know that it's done. Um, when all of the colors are blended together and it just, it's ready for a top coat and then I will keep using wax um, just to get it, because wax actually adds more, excuse me, adds more color to it. Um, you can see that the wax over these actually gave it a softer, more pastel look, almost like a shaded, I don't know, it's just, I love wax and I love the white wax. Um, as far as, what was that question, Matthew? Which one? I don't know. The one you asked me. Um, oh, where to no, go apply. For, apply for the, yeah, applying. You go to the DIYpaint.com website, and then you scroll to the bottom and say um, that you would like to become, it says become a retailer, and you click become a retailer. It gives you an application. You fill it out from there. Uh, Sandy. Sandy. Schuler. 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 Okay, yeah. Uh, she missed the answer about can you add white to clear wax if if no white wax? Yeah, absolutely. You can. You can add if you you can make your own colored waxes. So the Restful Acres Farm on the YouTube's would like to know: Do you know what minimum order to start being a retailer for DIY paint? Oh, um, that would be something you would have to. Um, find out with your application. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. We are. Uh, Don Witt yep. would like to know if you're going to sell this. This is for sale. Yes, this piece is for sale. I've had a couple people ask me that question and um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll have it ready in the next couple of days. Um, cause we'll need to wax it, wait 24 hours and then buff the entire piece. But waxing's going to take me a couple of days. Um, so if you're just popping on, I put clear wax from here over, over the whole piece. Um, and so I left this dry and now I'm adding a little bit of white over the clear. Um, and I'm going to end up doing the same thing over here. I just wanted to show you all the difference. So this has clear wax. These sections all have white wax. Well, and it's just really pretty. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay, Lily Bachelor on the Facebooks. Mm -hmm. She asked, on a dresser, do you recommend waxing the whole dresser or varnishing it? I don't use varnish at all. Um, what I like about DIY paint is that it's all natural. There's no toxic fumes or any toxic uh, chemicals at all. So we have um, we have products that are um, good for like a clear top coat. That's called Big Top that I love the most, and that's what I would use. Good job, honey. Uh, well, thanks. We have one on the Facebooks. Okay. No, no, on the YouTubes. Okay. Um, I, okay, where to go? Oh. Uh, Charlotte Hodge, mm -hmm. is there any green or yellow breaking through? Yes. Yes, there is green right here. There's a green strip right here, and all of this is yellow, Charlotte. The yellow is coming through all right here and all right here where the green and yellow is. And then there's a bunch of it right up here at the top. I know it's so hard for you to see. Um, you, not, you guys know that when I get pictures, I'll be able to show you more of that. Uh, Pat... Roosh. Roosh. Yeah, Pat Roosh. Uh, she wants to know, what are you going to do on the inside? And she's on the Facebooks, by the way. So, the inside is just brown right now. I don't have any plan right now for that, guys. Um, I, I would rather um, be punched in the face than paint the inside of anything. So, it's just brown. And it will stay that way unless my customer asks me to paint it. And then, it's basically another charge because you're basically flipping a piece inside out and you've got two pieces for the price of one. So, when you paint the inside, again, it's like flipping it inside out. Um, yeah. The white wax over the coral and that cherry picked color, our new color looks so good. I love what it's doing to the cherry picked color.
Okay, we are up to 22 people. We're up to 22, 22 keep it going. people. Spread the word, people. All right, so word. let's go down here to the bottom. Oh, wait, I'm just going to show you the top, guys. All right, I'm going to lean you back. So you can see the top real quick. Okay, so I actually put wax from here over clear wax. So it made the colors pop just a little bit more. See, they're more subdued over on that side. And here, they're more bold and bright. Yes. All right, so let's go work on the bottom because we can. Bear with me. How's it going, Matthew? Well, we, we, you just got a really big hug. I got a big hug? On the YouTubes from, um, <laughs> on, from Lisbon, Portugal. Portugal? Is Portugal. she from Portugal or that's her last Where, name? I, no, her name is Annabella Santos. She just sent you a big old hug from Lisbon, You guys are Portugal. being so nice. Thank you so much. All right, so let's work on the bottom here just a little bit more where you guys couldn't see when I was standing up. Again, I'm using the stencil brush from JRV. You love it? Now I'm seeing the comments. Wait, am I looking at, oh, that's Facebook. That's why I, I see it. I see them on Facebook. Uh, okay, okay, all right, looking good. So, you like this, Matthew? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody says it looks, uh, uh, Ellen Labinsky. Uh huh. It looks like a gorgeous sunset. Oh. Thank you. I love that description. So I'm just putting the white over the blue. I think that just looks really pretty. This is a wax that I'm using, you guys, if you're just popping on. Annabelle from Portugal, she won. She said hello. Hello. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Mona. Mona gave me a shout out. Oh, yay! Mona Doc 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 Tear Doc Tear Doc Tear. Mhm. She's on all the time. I know Mona. Okay, the copper I had it right here on this hardware. This is the hinge right here. I painted over the hinge. Then I actually took the copper, sprayed it, and just let it drip. And you guys can see this beautiful piece of trim right here, right? This huge piece. I'm gonna actually press it into all of these grooves. Hey honey, what time is it? I forgot. I have, I have no idea. That mover's coming here in shortly. Um, For the dryer. Uh, Stacy Dean on the Facebook, uh -huh. she, she asked, do you use clear wax under the white wax? Um, normally I don't. I did tonight. I did tonight, but normally I don't. Um, because I use it so often, um, and I love to use it so liberally, liberate, liberty, liber, liber, literally. No, liber. I want it to use it liberally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lori Phillips McGow. Yes. Hi, Lori. She is on the Facebooks tonight, and she wanted to ask you how many colors did you use? Okay, girl. Eight colors, and the white wax makes nine. Lori is who I tried to interview for What's Your Story Wednesday, honey, and it didn't work. Oh, uh, bummer. Okay. Uh, See how that worked, you guys? Marcella uh -huh. uh, wanted to know if DIY paint is available on Amazon or Etsy. No, 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 no. We don't sell on those large platforms. Um, DIY likes to take care of the retailers, so if you're actually wanting to purchase it, it's best to go to the retailers, or you can buy it directly online, like using my affiliate link, um, but you have to buy the paint from a retailer or directly from DIY. You can't buy it on a large platform like Etsy or, um, or Amazon. They, they try to push all of the business and sales straight to the retailers to really take care of them and help them with their sales. Uh, Alyssa? Alyssa? Amari? Okay. Uh, she said it kind of reminds me of the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast. Very French. That's what I'm getting. A lot of people are saying that about the wardrobe. But I went to France 
uh, four weeks ago, hun? Yeah. Uh, yeah, four weeks ago we got back and I was totally, of course, inspired. But the colors that were in Marie Antoinette's bedroom, her bedding and her uh, wallpaper, um, were so many blues and pinks. And what the challenge has been for me, as I can't use teal or turquoise because she did not have teal or turquoise. That was not a color that was used. Um, so a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, whole lot of gold, which I'm not actually using any gold on this piece because I don't want it to be, I want it to be softer and not formal looking. And I don't know if I can say that about a piece like this, um, but with the copper, I feel like it's a little bit more casual over the blue um, than the, the really bright gold. Um, we have one from Christy Cook. Okay. When is the next furniture redo class? Um, the next one is December 7th. And it's in Zanesville, Ohio. Um, the next one here, locally in uh, Moore, Oklahoma, has not been scheduled. It will most likely be uh, February, probably the week before Valentine's Day. And if you ever want to see, you can go to my website, theturquoiseiris.com, and go under um, workshops. Go under paint workshops and that will have the most recent listing now the one that's in zanesville ohio is actually on a different page because i'm i'm doing the course the the workshop with two other furniture artists actually the owner of diy paint and kelly weiler so you can go to kelly uh, girlupcycledstudio.com find a seat there are 12 tickets left for the december 7th class charlene thank you uh billy on the youtubes yep asked will you go back later and she said buff, but I think it's buff, the wax more. Yes, I will. This is not considered buffing. I'm just kind of rubbing it back so there's no clumps. Um, but tomorrow or later, anytime after 24 hours, I will use my buffing brush and really give it that smooth sheen finish. Jennifer Lynn Tarter on the Facebooks would like to know, she wants to know about some, the Texas thing. The Texas thing? What Texas thing? I don't know. Maybe your retreat? I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, I am hosting a retreat. Maybe that's what you mean. I'm hosting a retreat in Waco in June, but that is actually um, open exclusively to my um, members. You have to be in the Creative Connection, my membership group, um, to be able to um, come to that. Now, we are opening that up January 1st, and we do still have tickets available, but that is a workshop that's going to be four days, three nights in Waco, Texas in June. Can't stinking wait by the way um we have lots of fuchsia decor, right here decorizing your life i hope i'm saying that right she said i love going to start blending techniques she's a newbie oh good good i hope that you're feeling inspired and i hope that if i break it down for you slowly enough and not overwhelm you that you feel confident enough to try it out yourself So my creative connection will open up on January 1st and 2nd, and then we'll close back down. I don't keep it open. I actually only open it up eight days out of the year because I want to keep it as close to 500 members as possible and not really go over that at this time. Maybe later we'll get it bigger, but for right now, it's totally manageable. Um, we'll, be starting, um, we'll be starting a tie-dye tutorial in there um, next week for tie-dye, tie-dyeing picture, inspired by Debbie Beard. Ah, okay, if you're just not popping on, guys, I'm using a white wax. I have put clear wax straight down the middle, right here, all the way to here. It's gonna help me control just a little bit of the intensity of the white. Um, and the, I'm, I'm not gonna put the white everywhere, I'm just putting it in sections. And then I'm gonna just walk away from it and decide if I wanna leave it that way. Um, you know, I, I try to make my pieces look like they're one of a kind, totally original. And my main goal is that you do not know when you look at this, that I just painted it. My goal is for you to think that it's been painted years and years ago. Um, and you don't really know how old the piece is or how long ago that I've painted it. I do see you to, uh, Instagram that you have 
no idea if you're way over here and not seeing me, so I apologize for that, but I don't need to be in it. You just need to see this. Um, I've nicknamed this Marie Antoinette. I have been inspired by our trip to Paris, France, and um, basically, that's what I need to do because we have a driver coming to pick up a piece that's going to Florida, and um, it's someone I haven't used before, so I want to make sure we're good and ready and that we have everything set up and ready to go to help him load his trailer. Um, you guys, all of you that came out tonight, I appreciate you so very much. Um, this was day 28 of 100, so just know I'll be live for the next 82 days right here painting, whether it be furniture or canvas or something, we'll be doing something fun. Um, if you don't mind and you want to share this video out with someone or, or save it on your, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you have somebody else that might want to watch it or you don't have time to watch right now. You can always go back and look at it later. It's easier to find on your own profile than it is on the find on mine uh, because I do daily lives. I will also go back in and put the date, like the actual day, uh, day 28, because I don't think I wrote that in the in the description. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight and I will catch you tomorrow, tomorrow about the same time, exact same place. Be here, be square. Be here or be square. Honey, that's old. Big hug. Good night, you guys. Y'all go be awesome.